dear students in my last lecture i had given you a lot of information about uniform and non uniform motion i had also given you data and had said you to see table 8.1 of page 100 ncert in this table see in table 8.1 it is clearly given that if any person starts his or her journey at 9:30 am then distance traveled suppose from any point his distance is 10 meter after 15 meters 15 minutes the distance is 20 meter after 10 that is after every 15 minutes here the person is traveling the equal distance 10 meter 10 meter 10 meter 10 meter 10 meter but see the distance traveled by object b at 9:30 his position is 12 meter but after 15 minutes his position from fixed point that is a reference point is 19 meter so what is the distance traveled here here object b has traveled 7 meters distance in 15 minutes of time again in 15 minutes 19 plus 4 that is only 4 meter now 12 meter in this case only 2 meter in this case 37 plus 4 that is 41 and finally from 1045 to 11 that is in 15 minutes that person has traveled only 3 meters distance so with the help of this table you can practically give example that what is the meaning of uniform motion this these are the data for uniform motion and these are for non uniform motion today we shall try to learn a speed and velocity so what do we mean by a speed the rate of change of distance is called a speed you can also say that the distance traveled per unit time is called a speed so you can define any physical quantity in different ways but our understanding should be clear so it is the rate of change of distance how we can calculate a speed therefore a speed is equal to distance traveled divided by time taken now with the help of formula we can give the si units of every physical quantity is very important so in symbol we can write v is equal to s by t where v is the speed s is distance and t is time now what will be its si unit si unit that is a standard international unit so now from very early beginning of our science classes we have used units we have seen different types of units there are different system of units also and i shall give you detail information about it as we know that the si unit of distance is what meter so in numerator it is distance so its si unit will be meter and divided by time the si unit of time is second therefore the si unit of a speed will be meter per second meter per second now in our previous classes we have seen that there are two physical quantities first a scalar and then vector so here what we see it is the 
a rate of change of distance so it has only magnitude magnitude that is a speed is a, a scalar quantity a scalar quantity now with the help of these informations we can solve numerical problems related to a speed one thing more in our last lecture we had seen two things distance and displacement and we are now in the position to distinguish between distance and displacement so now what will be the rate of change of displacement it is called velocity velocity so dear students how we can define velocity the rate of change of displacement is called velocity therefore velocity is equal to change in displacement divided by time taken again in symbol we can write d is equal to s by t where v is velocity but it has both magnitude and direction in class 9 we are not reading as factor quantities so just we say that it has both magnitude and direction what will be its SI unit? Its SI unit is also meter per second, but it has both magnitude and direction. That is, velocity is a vector quantity now we are in the position to solve numerical problems related to a speed and velocity but before this as we have seen that in our day-to-day -day practice maximum motion is in an uniform nature why the most important thing is that we are highly populated the population of our country is increasing day by day and our infrastructure is limited so if you will go market or different places in normal days not at present because it is the time of lockdown every road is clear there is nothing uh, but in our normal life what we see we see everywhere crowd crowd and crowd it takes hours and hours time to reach our destination maximum very important precious time is wasted due to crowd on roads so being the responsible inhabitants of our country we should always consider that one of the most important problem for the development of our country is population also so dear students see to travel uniform motion is not practical in our day-to-day -day life then what happens we calculate average speed and average velocity so what is the meaning of average speed average speed average speed it states that Suppose we start our journey from Runi Sadpur and we have to go to Patna. Due to traffic jam, 
our motion is not in form in first hour suppose we travel in first hour in first hour suppose we travel 40 km distance but in second hour we travel only 10 km distance due to traffic jam and so on finally if we reach our destination suppose we travel distance 125 kilometer and time taken is by anyway four hours four hours during this journey our motion is not in form then what we do we calculate average speed and here average speed is given by average speed is equal to total distance traveled total distance traveled divided by total time taken total time taken similarly for average velocity average velocity average velocity CT. We shall see that a speed with a direction is called velocity. So if the change in displacement is uniform, if the very important consider here, if the change in displacement is uniform, then we can give the relation for average velocity average velocity average velocity is equal to initial velocity initial velocity plus final velocity final velocity this divided by 2 or v average a b right v average average velocity is equal to u where u is initial velocity and v is final velocity so u plus v divided by 2 it is also given in our ncrt book dear students here the si units of all these things that is a speed a speed velocity average speed and average velocity and average velocity is common as a unit for all these physical quantities common and it is meter by second or it may be written as meter second inverse why we can write meter second inverse because here if the power is minus one then in the denominator it will be written as plus one so it is meter per second now with the help of these concepts now we are in the position to solve numericals so see example 8.1 example 8.1 of your NCRT page page 101 of NCERT see here what is the question see here what is the question an object travels 16 meter in 4 seconds and then another 16 meter in 2 seconds what is the average speed of the object so how we can solve this question we shall write the total distance traveled by the object is equal to 16 meter and this plus again 16 meters this is 32 meters but what is the total time taken the 
total tan taken is equal to in first journey it is four second and in second journey it is two second this is equal to six seconds therefore the average speed average speed just we have read what is the meaning of average speed see here average speed is equal to total distance travel divided by total time taken so this is equal to 32 meter divided by 6 second now if you solve it 3 into 2 16 into 2 this is equal to 16 by 3 meter per second this is equal to 5.33 meter per second so now we can solve numericals related to distance and displacement also a speed and velocity easily now you try to solve questions today's your homework will be homework solve questions solve questions of page 102 of an CERT book for your reference suppose you have not your original textbook then I am giving you questions in its original shape so try first question is distinguish between a speed and velocity second under what conditions is the magnitude of average velocity of an object equal to its average speed and so on there are total five questions and i had said you many times that for proper learning your active participation is required if you are really interested then start your learning revise your lesson again and again and start solving numericals from very early beginning by doing so our learning will be very interesting and fruitful thank you thank you very much